In this video, we're going to take a closer look at my personal deep buy list for the potential bottom of the market. I'm going to show you all the altcoins, all the blue chips coins that I'm looking to accumulate in this atrocious bear market that we're going on. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, and welcome to the channel. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. And if you're one of the subscribers, my apologies for the missing videos over the last few weeks. I've been a little bit sick with the Rona, so it's been a little bit challenging to make some videos, but I want to go ahead with this deep buy list because I believe that we are approaching the bottom of the market very, very soon, okay? So let's take a look quickly at Bitcoin and to understand where we are, okay? So right now, Bitcoin is trading around $19,214, right? At the moment of the recording of this uh, video. So we broke this bearish pennant right here, okay? And then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven, days already of red candles okay so right now we are in the uh, in the 4th of july weekend so the volume is gonna be very very low in the upcoming days so i do not foresee any um action any sizable action for the weekend however on the opening on tuesday things can get very hectic simply because Guys, let's face it, there's a lot of things that are moving in the crypto market right now. Of course, not positive things. And I'm talking about Voyager uh, that halted all the withdrawals, halted all the transfers, and people have an extremely high amount of money locked in there. And then we have rumors of potential exchanges being insolvent, right? So there is a lot of negativities in companies going under in the crypto space, okay? So what I do believe that uh, could happen is that, first of all, Celsius liquidation point right now is sitting at 13,600, okay? What I mean by that, if Celsius gets liquidated okay 450 million dollars of bitcoin will get immediately um, sold in the market which could cause another cascade of liquidations that could dip the price of bitcoin down to nine to ten thousand dollars okay so if you see right here i have my poi which is at the point of interest okay and here's the level where i could foresee uh, Celsius being liquidated and then I have some limit orders sets from uh, actually 13,000 down to 9,500 9, okay so but this is the outlook of Bitcoin and we all know that what Bitcoin does then reflects to the all, all the other all coins so let's take a look at my list right so first of all I divided in blue chips and then some uh, small caps, mid caps, and then uh, gaming all coins, okay? So first of all, Bitcoin, okay? Uh, if Bitcoin is gonna go to these prices, which I believe the 13 to 9K is a very realistic price for Bitcoin at this point, it's definitely a good accumulation point. So that's uh, definitely, I'm gonna deploy some capital towards Bitcoin. Number two, we have Ethereum, right? Uh, there's not much to talk about Ethereum, it's, uh, it's one of the leading um, ecosystems for a lot of new project launching, so it's definitely uh, $500 to $700 price point is uh, definitely what I'm looking at, okay? Also, make sure to understand this is not financial advice, this is for educational and informational purposes only. Do not invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Okay, so let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can all see. So the third one is DAW, right? And these are the prices that I'm looking to accumulate between 576 and 450. So I am very bullish uh, for the next uh, bull run for DAW because I believe the ecosystem of DAW is very, very undervalued. 
And in order for those projects to run in the ecosystem, they need the, the DOT token. So I do foresee DOT doing uh, very, very well in the next bull run, okay? In the previous bull run, uh, I believe the whole time high was around 40 to $50. And I will not be surprised if on the next bull run we'll, we'll reach around $100, which at this price point would be a more than a solid 10X, okay? Then Polygon, Polygon, you know, it has shown to be a solid a layer two solution of Ethereum. And these are the price point that I'm looking to accumulate between 15 cents and uh, 26 cents, okay? So also these ranges, when you see these ranges, it's that I do have what is called the laddering orders, which means that uh, these are the targets, okay? So, and I do set orders uh, laddered so that if it reaches like the 15 cents, I will have the highest order placed, but if it doesn't reach that that level, I, I still have orders being filled and I can, I'll, I'll still be able to buy without missing on that opportunity, okay? Then uh, I'm looking also Solana. Solana, they, I mean, they shown to have uh, quite a bit of problems in terms of the network. There's been some outages uh, on and off but I do believe that it's a solid project that once they figure out all those network issues can definitely do really, really well in the next uh, bull run, okay? So these are the prices that I'm looking to accumulate between $11 and $18. And please bear in mind that these are, are very, very um, uh, aggressive, uh, low prices uh, for for some of these altcoins, but uh, you, you, but you also have to understand that if, if Bitcoin will reach these prices, it's going to be a massive fear in the market. And we're talking also about those liquidations because some of those um, hedge funds, they'll become insolvent. They will have to liquidate some of their assets in order to recoup some of the capital. So. Uh, I do believe that these uh, prices, although they're very aggressive, they are realistic. So then we have AVEX. I do believe AVEX is a strong layer one uh, blockchain and I'm looking to accumulate between uh, $6 and $9 over here. And then VeChain. I do believe the VeChain infrastructure and what is building for businesses and the solutions that they're building uh, it's definitely a blockchain uh, that will help a lot of businesses scale and be more efficient, okay? And these are the prices that I'm looking at between one cent and 0, 0 0.5. Then uh, we're going towards more like mid cap, small cap, all coins, and those are a little bit more uh, riskier. And uh, over here, so first of all, I am very bullish on Moonbeam, okay? I do believe that Moonbeam ecosystem, the entire Moonbeam ecosystem in the uh, next bull run with all the partnerships that they have and with all the fundings they are deploying towards the ecosystem will do uh, extremely well. The network is growing very fast and a lot of uh, big, uh, blockchain, block ecosystem blockchain, they're, they're already integrated in Moonbeam, right? So they're actively building in a very, very difficult time in the market. And that's why I am uh, very uh, bullish on the long term of this project. I'm also staking some Moonbeam. And uh, just for a full disclosure, I did uh, uh, already had some orders filled here at around uh, 60 cents. And, uh, but the major uh, orders are between 20, uh, 0 0.25 and 50 cents, okay? Then the next one is a star. So a star network is another uh, layer one solution ecosystem in the Polkadot, eco, uh, in the Polkadot ecosystem. Sorry, I made a mistake here. You can cut. So the next one is a star, which is a layer one solution ecosystem in Polkadot, okay? It's another layer one that they are currently building a lot of interesting project 
and I'm looking to accumulate between one and two cents, okay? Uh, definitely, uh, I will add uh, more Kadena to my portfolio, and those are the prices that we're looking to accumulate between 60 cents and $1. I believe that right now, Kadena is sitting at around $1.47, so, and definitely these prices are realistic with a potential Bitcoin drop to these levels right here. Um, so Kadena being is a proof of work layer one, a blockchain that is extremely fast for being a proof of work and they have a solid team behind it. They just need to work a little bit on the marketing to make it more, um, more mainstream, okay? But if we look at the, uh, the prices of Kadena uh, whole time high, we're, we're talking about a, a launch was um, $88, but of course this was when it was launched, so it's not really uh, a realistic point of view. So I would, um, I would consider like $28 as being the whole time high on, 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 on the previous bull run, okay? So definitely, as you can see, here's are my um, target zones, right? Where I'm looking to, to heavily uh, get involved into Kadena. And then um, the next one is Near. So Near protocol has grown tremendously over the last bull run. So it's another uh, layer one blockchain that I'm looking to accumulate. And I'm looking to accumulate between $1.54 and $2.43. And then we have Elrond. Um, it's another infrastructure layer one that I'm looking to uh, accumulate. And then Mina, uh, I do believe that in the next bull run, being like a very a unique blockchain being this, the smallest actually blockchain in terms of size and what their team is building and the funding they're developing to um, have a, 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 a growing ecosystem in Mina I believe it's a project that uh, will do extremely well in the next bull run and I have Moon River as well in this list so Moon River is the uh, sister chain of Moonbeam. Okay, so Moon River runs on Kusama and Moonbeam runs on Polkadot. Okay, but uh, it is it is another um, uh, it is another branch of the entire uh, ecosystem built on Kusama that uh, has gained a lot of popularity in the previous bull run, and that's why I'm looking to deploy certain amount of capital towards uh, Moon River because uh, it's gonna be a leading um, a, a leading indicator if Moonbeam is gonna gain more and more traction, Moon River being the sister chain will definitely get more attention as well, and uh, we could definitely see uh, an appreciation in value. Then we have Velas. I made some videos about Velas as well. You can find them in the description below. And Velas, it is a fork of Solana, extremely fast, super, um, super easy to use with the wallets and everything. And also I am staking some Velas as well, but I'm looking to accumulate even more. Then we have Atom and Quantum as well, are, are the other um, cryptos that I'm looking to accumulate. The only thing here is that I have not set up fully the, the, the price point for those uh, because I, I, I want to really see um, these, how they will behave in terms of like when we're gonna have the big full capitulation in the market and then I will have a more uh, clear idea on where I want to uh, fill my bids, okay? And then also uh, the other projects that I'm looking to uh, get involved in, um, not heavily, but I want to have some exposure. One is Boba, uh, Optimism, and Aleph Zero, okay? So Optimism is a layer two scaling solution of Ethereum, and this can definitely have its run in the next bull run because it launched uh, officially like not that long ago, but of course, like the market conditions are not favorable. So it, it, uh, I believe that in the next bull run, this project being a layer two solution of Ethereum will, uh, will appreciate in value and they will gain more attention as well. 
Then let's talk about the gaming altcoins. So the gaming altcoins is something that I did invest in the previous bull run, did very well on a lot of them, on a lot of them, I am still uh, 40 to 50% down because I didn't, um, I didn't clear my entire position. Uh, but here are the altcoins that I'm looking to accumulate at the uh, next uh, drop and the next leg down, okay? So number one is Gala. So Gala, it is a very solid ecosystem and um, it's not just an ecosystem, right? They actually are an incubator for games. So the first one that I want to accumulate heavily is uh, Gala. All right, so my target is between one cent and three cents. And the reason why I do believe Gala will last the test of time is that they're not just building one game, right? They are a powerhouse of different games that run on the Gala games ecosystem, right? Because what I've noticed is that games come and go, users come and go and people get attracted to different narratives in those games. So having an ecosystem that can deliver on those trends every single time is just something that can last the test of time. So that's why I am looking to accumulate Gala again. Then we have Ape. So I do believe in Ape because it is the leading token of the Board API Club NFT. Uh, ecosystem and also you know when they're going to launch their metaverse the a token is going to be the utility token in the metaverse and that's something that uh, would need to uh, be used in order to uh, do anything in their metaverse right so which in turns will take out uh, the a token out of circulation and of course we could see an appreciation in value of the token then engine I like Engine a lot simply because it is another ecosystem that provides solution to games, developers, they also have NFTs. So there's a lot of things they're building. Everdome, I do like Everdome as well. Uh, they're very concentrated into their developing the metaverse, right? There's a more a, a type of a metaverse play. And then Sand, Sandbox, uh, you know, it is a, OG of the, the, the metaverse uh, uh, narrative. So definitely it is a, a, a token that I'm looking to accumulate. Then the central land, definitely it's another blue chip of the metaverse I'm looking to accumulate as well. I'm very bullish on wild. Uh, I do believe what they're building in terms of having this uh, a Miami of the future in the metaverse with fast cars and luxuries and um, uh, having the uh, possibility to rent also those um, infrastructure in the metaverse. I believe it's gonna be a project that uh, will uh, last the taste of time. I do believe that the, the team does need to be uh, more uh, involved into updating the community and, uh, um, and not just like showing a, uh, a, a 3D videos uh, of the upcoming metaverse. So these things take time, I understand, but I would appreciate from the team a little bit more of communication and uh, uh, but regardless of that, that's, that's my uh, price points that I'm looking to uh, get involved again into Wild. And then uh, Vul Vulcan Forge is another um, play that I'm looking to accumulate between these prices, between 139 to 15. And then SMRK is another uh, uh, play that I am looking to accumulate between these points, 175 and $2. Uh, so there you have it. This is my list of um, cryptos that I'm looking to accumulate at those prices 
when we're gonna have the final leg down. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite from this list, which one you're looking to accumulate more, which one you're most bullish on, and also if you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified about this time sensitive videos and join our free telegram group in the description below i hope to you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next